Hey, what's up, guys? It's Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net and YouTube. Eli Fishman Sports back with another interview today. I'm happy to be joined by third baseman for the Seen Hall Pirates, Joe Pirates Linko. Joe Pod, thanks for joining me. Today. Thanks, Fish. Thanks for having me, man. Of course. Thank, thanks for coming on, man. Sure. Uh, you're now a senior at Seen Hall. You just had Senior Day. You're about to finish uh, your time as a Seen Hall Pirate. Uh, what have you cherished as a Pirate? And just can you tell me about the experience uh, playing with the Blue? It's been awesome, man. I mean. My teammates, I can't say enough about my teammates, can't say enough about the coaches. Uh, huge to get a win. I mean, second uh, of the doubleheader here, good to get the uh, back end. But I mean, it's been awesome, man. A great four years, wouldn't have traded for anything, you know. You went to Malvern Prep High School. Uh, you were team captain you, in your senior year. You hit 381 with six home runs, 36 RBIs, 22 stolen bases, and a school record 54 runs scored in only 36 games. Uh, you you led the team to three consecutive championships. Uh, can you just tell me about your time at Malvern Prep and having so much success there? That was awesome too, man. I mean, that's what got me here, having success there. Uh, the program's the best in the state in PA. My coach, Freddie Hilliard, one of the best coaches in the state, uh, in the country for that matter, in high school. So, I mean, I had an amazing experience in high school. Um, loved those four years. And then, like I said, that's what got me here, being at Malvern. Uh, uh, led the way to me uh, getting to Seton Hall, ultimately. So. Uh, in order to come to Seton Hall, you had to turn down a couple uh, other offers, most notably Pitt, which is a pretty b big ACC school. Uh, to turn that down, uh, what was going through your head and what led you, what were the biggest factors that went that decision to lead you to come to Seton Hall? Well, you know, it was the coaches, man. I mean, the coaches here, Phil, Pap, and uh, RB got me here. Um, like I said, I went to trade for the world. I, I had some other schools I, I could have gone to, but the academics here and the coaching staff, and ultimately I, I got my best friends. I want to trade my friends here for the world. So, I, I mean, I, I think I absolutely made the right choice, and uh, I'm proud of these past four years. Uh, in your first season, uh, you were – uh, held to only a little bit of playing time uh, due to a stacked infield. Yeah. Uh, and then you played in the Coastal Plain League where you hit uh, 316 in 39 games with the Pilots. Um, you're looking for success. You're looking to get a starting job. How much did playing uh, in the uh, Coastal Plain League help you to get that starting job? Oh, I, I can't say enough about the Coastal Plains either. I mean, my time down in Hampton, Virginia with the Pilots, I was down there with uh, former Pirate Timmy Edwards. Um, and we, we had a fun time. I mean, the coaching staff down there, they just stress playing the game hard, and uh, hopefully I was able to bring that into this year. So, yeah, the Coastal Plains and Summer Ball, I, I had some great experience in Summer Ball, especially in the Coastal Plains. So, um, yeah, I mean, Summer Ball is just, it helps you get yourself going a little bit, and it's fun. It's fun uh, meeting new guys, uh, being out with their new team. So I, I had a great time Summer Ball. Uh, this year, um, st st statistic-wise, you're, you're having the best year um, of your career. What's been the biggest key to having this much success on the field? Um, I've been trying to stay as consistent as possible, man. I mean, the season's a grind. You know, it's 55, 56 games, so it's a long season. It's just a matter of uh, keeping your peaks uh, or, or not getting too low with the lows, I should say. Keep your uh, keep the valleys uh, as, as straight as possible. So, hey, I mean, it's been a good year for us, but, but we got to finish strong. i got to finish strong personally. i uh, got to finish strong defensively, and uh, hopefully the, bat, the bats heat up as well. So. Uh, you can hit for average. You can hit for power. Uh, you can play second, third, and short. Um, you're a real. You can steal bases. You're a really versatile player. Which part of your game do you pride yourself in the most, and do you feel is the biggest key to your success? You know, I mean, these last couple of weeks is going to have to be defense. I mean, you saw today, one nothing win. We didn't make any errors that second game, so it, it's going to have to be defense for me personally. I mean, I think I, I've struggled at times defensively, but that's something that we take pride in here. So I'm going to take pride these last couple of weeks of my career. Um, and, and definitely finish it off strong defensively, but at the same time try to carry a strong approach, uh, strong approach to the plate too, so uh, help us out in the lineup. All right, thanks so much for joining me All today. Right, Fish,